Hi, this is the X-Car I got back in 2015 to review and uh, I think if you watch that review you'll see that I was impressed it did everything that it said it would do. Sadly for me it didn't do everything that I would have wanted it to do it had some limitations. I was just reaching the point where I was going to decide whether or not to keep it when uh, Inventables got back in touch with me and said would I like to try their upgrade package. Now the problems I've had with this particular one really stem from the motor and also the rail which was or a couple of rails here which were quite flexible and so there was a rigidity problem. Those two things meant that uh, I ended up not using the machine as much as perhaps I would have liked so I was, I was considering giving it up entirely. Obviously offered the upgrade uh, which was apparently going to solve the rigidity problem in that beam and also upgrade the motor to what is now being shipped with the machine which is a DeWalt quarter inch router so that should also hopefully solve the motor burnout problems or at least make them a li little bit easier to deal with. So I said yes and pretty soon a few packages arrived. Now that uh, includes both the upgraded beam which is a single beam this time, much more rigid. Uh, there's a side panel there for mounting the controller on. There's also a Z axis, Z probe, zeroing probe. And we've also got the new spindle, the DeWalt router, and a mount for that. There's the latest X controller. And also the dust extraction kit. So that's going to be interesting and I'm going to be putting that together telling you what I think of how easy it is to do the upgrade and what I think of the, uh, the improvements to the machine. As with the original build the instructions for doing the upgrade are online this time with pictures rather than videos which I think is uh, just as easy. So to the point of this video, how did the upgrade go? Well, I expected it to take a couple of hours and it ended up taking uh, at least twice as long. I started by uh, fitting the sideboard on there, uh, then the X controller, and it's got a lovely uh, emergency stop on it. Then rewiring from my old box into the new X controller, adding the dust boot and arms, and then the router. The router's a lot bigger, so it comes with a new mount. Um, the router actually failed the mechanism so I had to take a file to it uh, to get some clearance. Now I checked for vertical with a quarter inch bar and a cocktail stick and fitted the Z probe and interestingly the dust boot covers the hole which is normally attached to and it does come with a bracket but I thought it would be just as easy to drill a new hole which I did, makes it a lot neater. More cabling meant more droop in the drag chain on the x-axis so uh, to cure that I adapted the bracket to throw it up at 45 degrees and now it works a treat. If you're going to do this upgrade then you'll need a little bit of common sense because as of July 2017 the instructions are not 100% accurate. A little bit of common sense and you'll get through it though. Something to note is if you're going to be fitting the dust extraction then uh, do that before you do the Z-probe because otherwise you'll be faced with having fitted the socket for the Z-probe finding that you've got to move it again. There's no doubt that with a more rigid X-axis, a more powerful spindle, dust extraction, a Z-probe and an emergency switch you do end up with a much more capable machine. 